Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Outsider. Uh, it's Tuesday, 21st of December. Um, I've come down to Tree Nant Fisheries on Kingfisher Lake. Um, I brought the, the bait boat with me today. There's no restriction, so it's having this maiden voyage today. Um, I've been asked to show how to do self takes as well for people who fish on their own. So that's what I'll be doing today, and I'll run you through a few other bits as well. Um, I've chosen solid bags today, and I brought some spod mix with me like I did last time. You know, some people say it's not a very good time to put particle in because the fish are pretty dormant, but they're very competitive in this lake. So I brought some particle mix. I've chosen pick 16. That's opposite to the bank I fished last time. We're definitely going to use that margin there. So what I do is I'll angle my pods. Well, I got my sticks there. I'll angle my sticks there. I fish one in the corner here and went to that bush there. But, uh, it's a two rod limit here, as you know. And his uh, bait boats are not banned, so even though it's a bit of overkill for this lake, it's hard to have his vo uh, maiden voyage before Christmas for you guys, you've all been asking. So today he's been launching. Okay, so I'll, uh, I guess set up now. And we'll have a look at a few things, right? See you in a bit, guys. So I'm about, just about to send the bait boat out for his first journey. I see he got some particle mix. And there are no boilies in there. Just bits and pieces with some dead maggots. And inside the boat, I've got some particle, a solid bag, with a pink peril. Trimmed out. And send them out. There you go, so the first one's out. I'm just going to sink the line now and put the rod on the pod. Right guys, the rods are out. Used to be it what? It didn't go too well. Bear in mind now guys, it's the first time I've ever used one. All that, the lead core as well. Got tangles around the propeller. So, 
boat, the boat, the boat. We'll try again soon, okay? I say I'm new to it all. I got caught on the rear propeller there. So I'm obviously doing something wrong. I learned from my mistakes on you guys. So we'll, uh, I'll try again on the next cast, okay? So that's what's going on my solid bag, look. Just a single grain of pop up corn. Size 6 curve shank, rigged tackle, hand sharpened, and a 2 ounce inline Barton's lead. Length of lead core with 2 foot. And what I've done is I've spliced it onto one of the stems. That's just the way I like to use them. So that's what it looks like in amongst the mixing point of the look. So, providing we catch something today, I'm going to show you how I do my self takes, okay? So, I've got one of these little devices. It's a Bluetooth device, right? You turn it on the side there, and you pair it up with your mobile phone. So what I do, I put in one of these little plastic bags because you don't want it to get wet and slimy. And if it's a large fish, I'll put the device in my mouth because you can raise the fish up slightly and you can hide it. You know, you can hide it with the fish so you don't get it in your mouth in the picture. If it's a smaller fish, I'll put it in my right hand. When I'm holding a fish, I just click it. it, take as many photos as I want. So, as I say, providing we catch something, we'll come back to that later and I'll show you how I do my self takes. I've uh, just checked the, the weather forecast on my phone now. So, we've got easterly winds, it's four degrees, and it's high pressure. So we are going to be up against it today. Okay, back to you soon, guys. Just going to show you uh, my carp care kit. And to start off, I to show you, I've zeroed my scales. That's the first thing I always do. So what I've done, I wet the sling and I zeroed it from there. So let's have a look at my carp care kit. So we got propellers. That's from Holland the Bar at Addis, by the way. It costs five pound. Got a pair of forceps. And I got some antiseptic spray. So that's my carp care kit. But uh, as I say, I picked this up from Holland the Bar at, okay? You know, you're not paying carp tax. <laughs> you save yourself a fiver. If you know what I mean. Right, guys. So there you go, we're off the mark. So that's one way of taking your self takes. Um, holding it in your hands. Obviously, putting it in a little bag as well, you know. But um, if I have another fish now, I'll show you another method, okay? What is I put the the Bluetooth device in my mouth, which I much prefer. Just got better control of it. Okay, there's also another way I used to use, but the picture quality is not so good. And that's to do a video, then play back and do a screenshot. That's a really good way. But you know, if you if you want really good quality pictures, it's best to do it with the Bluetooth device. Okay, speak to you in a bit.
died on my mobile so I've switched over to the camera now but that's charging uh, I'm not sure the time is but half past one two o'clock I think Got about two hours left we we'll on three fish uh, they're all ranging from about 14 pound to 15 and a half at the moment but they're all taking uh, solid bags with a fake corn yellow Three anglers have already left. This, it was five of us on, three have already left. I don't know if it's because it's cold or because they're not catching, I don't know. Uh, it's a waste, really. Perhaps they got other commitments in school. Well, school's off and then perhaps they got other commitments, but it's three have left. There's two left. As always, I always got three bags ready to go, even though I'm just fishing two rods. And on each of them, each one of them bags now, there's a fake piece of yellow corn. Because that's what the first fish took, see? So it's just a process of elimination, really. Starting off, finding out what's going on the day, see? These are the solid bag stems I use. Because I only use um, two and two and a half ounce leads, I use the five millimeter diameter. You know, the cheapest guys, you can't get cheaper out there, but definitely find these ones the best. Okay, and I either splice some, I know that's not the original way to use them, but I usually splice them to um, either lead core lead free leader or fluorocarbon I'll be changing all my um, my leaders over to fluorocarbon now during the winter see you can try in the boat again guys I've got particle in the front hopper and I've got a solid bag in the back hopper what shall we do now fell off now. That's perfect. Right, I'm going to bring the boat back now.
I've got a lovely ghostie in the net, number two. Nice ghosty. Switch crumb. A piece of plastic corn. I'm gonna show you now the second way I do my self takes. That's holding the Bluetooth device in the mouth, okay? Let's get this fish sorted out. Left hand rod's gonna go now. As soon as he sucks that fake corn up, I'll be gone. I want to go shout out, guys. Uh, my buddy, you've just started his own YouTube channel, Angler. Adrian, his name is. Cracking, cracking guy. And his new channel is called Welsh Carpa 91. So check him out, guys. Uh, he's got lots of plans for the new year, getting some new equipment and stuff, and um, I'm sure he'd put plenty of fish on a bank, he always does. So that's Welsh Carpa 91. Cheers Adrian boy, good luck. Then guys, we got number four in the net. It's a mirror. It's the biggest one of the day. Probably about 16 pound. We'll have a look at him now. Yeah, so it's about quarter to three now. And fish number four.
night. Fifteen pound, eight ounces. Guys, and everybody's gone. And we're only a angler left on ya. Go about an hour and a half left. I'm sure there's a chance for another one. Yeah, it's strange, everyone's gone. I couldn't tell you why. Don't smell that bad, do I, guys? Surely. There you go. Oh, wait. Ah, it's twenty past three now. I'll pull the bait board in and put it away. Uh, twice I had the same problem the lead core was getting tangled up in the propellers <clears throat> I know I'm doing something wrong I'll say it's the first time I've used this so if anyone can help me out with that one much appreciated yeah it was quarter past three now I'm going to start putting stuff away slowly I'm going to stay out till four I'll have to get out there then see because it gets dark but um, the four fish I've had this week, as opposed to last week, every one of them have been bigger than the sixes last week. No, I don't know why that is. It'd just be luck, you know. But uh, <clears throat> the conditions today are absolutely terrible because it's easterly wind, it's high pressure. It's absolutely freezing. So we've managed four luck. And they've all come, as I say, in a solid bag with switch crumb and some two mil pellets and some crayfish pellets. 
little bit of bag crumb. And for the hook bit, it's just been a single yellow piece of plastic cone on a Ronnie rig, four inch Ronnie rig. Yeah, so we haven't had too bad really, and as I say, the biggest fish was the last one there, the mirror. Which was, um, what was it? Was it four? Fifth? 15 pound 8, yeah, 15 pound 8. Yeah, so not bad, nice day out, see? <clears throat> I don't mind coming to places like this this time of year. You know, give me confidence in my rigs, you know, I know they work in and there's a bend in the rod. So we'll see you now. See the last 45 minutes plays off now, okay? Keep updating, guys. Last 10 to 4 now. I just had a take on the left hand rod when I struck into there, there was nothing here. Um, so I put that rod away. I'm just about to put the right hand rod away now. We will catch up when I get back to the van, alright guys? Right guys, uh, it's time to head home now to Lillipoo. Um, I've just been on the website for the brake boat and apparently it's a common problem getting things caught in the rotors at the back. So I'm just, just going to have to keep practicing it. I'm not going to give up, like obviously, but uh, apart from that, another brilliant session. It's a uh, four fish in about six hours. Biggest fish was uh, 15 pound eight. All taken on solid bags, all caught on plastic corn. Yeah, so another great session. Um, there'll probably be one more vlog before Christmas, possibly two, because a um, uh, tackle box I ordered was delivered today, so I'll probably do a review on that. Uh, I'll do that at home, and I'll, uh, I'll get that up here before Christmas, most probably, and possibly out. Thursday for the day session somewhere we'll see right but uh thanks for watching the vlog guys and uh really appreciate all the subscriptions uh give us a like comment and uh if you haven't already subscribe okay so um i'll see you on the next one guys thanks for watching take care of yourselves if i don't get back to you before christmas have a good one Ta guys